Welcome. Thank you for viewing integrative fascial release, indirect treatment approaches to myofascial release. My name is Stephen Goldstein and I'm going to be your host through hopefully this whole DVD and we're going to talk a lot about what integrative fascial release is and, and the approach that I take with it. So the purpose and outcome of this DVD is to expose you to the hybrid of what IFR is and we're briefly going to look at the anatomy and physiology of myofascia, the principles and properties of why clinical maniotherapy is effective with this tissue type. We're also going to look at why lighter touch uh, is used in the context of indirect technique and why it actually works. In a sense, less is more, the homeopathy of body work. Uh, we're also going to look and consider other key uh, treatment approaches and and one of the principles that we're going to draw from quite extensively is uh, one of the modalities that we're going to draw from, rather, is osteopathy. So to understand how this works for you, to understand the concepts and theories of MFR, we're going to put a holistic approach into this, a, a somatic viewpoint, so to speak. And we're going to begin to look at what we call global versus local, macro versus micro changes. Uh, we're going to look at also models from other authors uh, who I'll mention and there's no modality on the planet that doesn't draw from other others who came before so respecting the elders are very 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 important uh, and we're going to look then at fossil anatomy and what's very important about fossil anatomy and we're going to also look at the authors that and especially Thomas Myers who has been instrumental in a number of, of myofascial uh, schools of thought throughout the planet. Um, we're going to look at some of his lines and we're going to look at uh, another gentleman named Robert Schleep who talked about high leverage points in the myofascial net. Finally, we're going to actually look on the body, we're going to palpate these various lines of fascial tension because if you can palpate where the high leverage points are, you can release them. Let's talk about a somatic perspective for a second. John Smith a structural integrator from Sydney, Australia, wrote a fine book in 2005 called Structural Bodywork. And in this book, he takes a very strong somatic perspective. And, in, and what he, he talks about is, is the practitioner works with the living body in all its stru structural and functional units. They, they either use their hands or their voices to communicate somatic intelligence to evoke a higher level of functional intelligence in the body. Now this approach really balances structure rather than fixes it and therefore it is strategic and systemic and it also is individualized. So it proceeds, which as Ida Ralph was fond to say, the cumulative effects of small changes. It works with a lengthening process and it works within the myofascial network. And how then can an approach work, work like this work for you in your practice? Well, one needs to consider relationships. And in considering the relationships, we consider the entire body, but from a structural standpoint, we're going to consider the skeletal and articular relationship. And so when we, we consider that, we always have a prop in the room or hopefully you have a book open in your clinical practice. And we need to look at the, art, the joints of the body, the articular aspects. We need to look at the skeletal aspect and as well to look at the muscular aspects. Your underpinning knowledge is essential to any of the success that you'll have in, in clinical practice. The other relationship we want to look at is a relationship that considers the autonomic nervous system, the central nervous system, both somatic, enteric, which is belly, and autonomic. And also you need to consider the emergent emotional and psychological aspects of our being as well when we consider the relationships. So we'd rather balance than fix. And one of the great challenges for a practitioner is not to be symptom driven, is not to go ahead and just go where the pain is. In fact, often the pain is referral. So with referred pain, it's coming from somewhere else, be it from a trigger point referral pattern, be it from an organ, from a visceral somatic pattern. 
So what we're attempting to do is look beyond the immediate symptom and to look at the deeper causes. And very often, the first registered pain that is in a link of causes. And make no mistake, your health history taking is very, very important because often it could be from early childhood. It could be a viral cause that is causing structural problems. So you want to have a sense of looking at that. So, or, you know, or it could be an area that's overworked. It could be an area from just RSI over time. We all are habitual bodies in a sense. We, we, we use our body in habitual patterns. So we'll take this strategic and systemic approach. And Ida Ralph was very fond of saying that changes cannot all be made at once. And the inter structural integration Ralphing community, for example, uses a 10 session protocol. They will actually not look to treat just for one hour. They know that if they want to balance the structure, they have to look at a larger picture. And they need to have more time. So not everyone has that kind of time, and I know you're under pressure that way. So I'm hopefully I'm going to also show you techniques today that are going to be very efficient in your practice, that are going to get results quickly, because at the end of the day, that's probably why you're watching this DVD.